Welcome, here we are at 124 Sunset Bay Boulevard. There are a lot of things about this home that stand out to me. And uh, one would be location, where if you go up 188, turn right on Bigger Staff Road, uh, we're gonna be out that way. And, uh, you know, so we're only about 10 minutes from the hospital. So for those of you that are looking to be close to Seneca and a great location, you, you've certainly found it here. Let's talk about the home itself. As we look around, you'll see this is a stucco home. Don't worry, they've already had a uh, stucco inspection on it and they've got a report to let you know that this stucco is in great shape so there are no issues there. Uh, another thing I want to mention, just on the around the corner uh, over here you've got a uh, boat landing within 100 yards of this home. So very easy to get your boat, jet skis, whatever it may be that you need to get out of the water in and out uh, of this little community. It is a community, community, Sunset Bay, but the beauty of that is there are no dues. So how can you beat that? For those of you out there looking for a situation where you don't have, you know, $800,000 a year dues, this is a great situation. Let's talk about uh, the home itself. Great layout, open, got a nice view, gentle slope down to the lake. Now in this home, you've got two bedrooms upstairs, two and a half bath uh, upstairs, and then if you go downstairs, another two bedrooms, and they are large, and then you've got a third room downstairs that's you know doesn't have the windows doesn't have the closet but for me it would make a great kid kids room i mean put some bunk beds things in there so you're going to be able to sleep a lot of folks here whether this is a primary residence or a second home i think it's going to fit um you know both parties as far as uh you know being what you're i mean layout as far as i'm saying what you're looking for on a lake because again if it's a primary home and you want to use utilize mostly the main level you can certainly do that, and then again, if you want to have the kids or it's a second home getaway, you've got all that room downstairs. So let's head on inside, take a look at the house. We'll go from there out to the dock uh, because we're on good deep water, and uh, follow me on in. Let's do it. All right, I'll tell you one thing you first notice when you walk in, and everybody wants to see, you walk right in, boom, there's your view right out of that glass. Uh, they didn't put the fireplace right in the middle of the view. And that is definitely an A plus on list of layouts because most people don't like to see a fireplace in that wonderful view. If we look over here to the left, you can see they do have a fireplace. It is a gas burning fireplace. Some nice built-ins here. And uh, we'll come back with the master bedroom. Got an extra bath, uh, an extra bedroom on that level. We'll come through here. Got your eating area. Again, taking full advantage of the view as you go out to the lake. And I want to tell you, when we get out to the water, there's something I think special about this particular cove. As wide as it is, um, you know, you think you're out there really out on the main lake, but yet you're just off of that, which I'll talk about the advantages of that. You've got, as you can see over here, a nice little uh, side deck area, perfect for the grill, uh, easy access into the kitchen. Coming through the kitchen, we've got all granite countertops. Nice custom main cabinets here, easy flow, plenty of cabinet area. You've got a half bathroom over here to the left as we come on through. And then a little, another little closet here to the right. And again, I think a great layout is to have the uh, washer, dryer, laundry room area, kind of a mud room area as you come off the garage. And you can see here they do have a uh, two car garage. All right, go back out of here, down the hall. Another little coat closet as you come into the home. Full bathroom here to the left. We've got a shower, tub, combo, hard surface tops. Large bedroom, again, we're talking, you know, good size bedroom, and, and you've noticed as we've walked in, we've got all hardwood floors. Um, Looks like a nice oak floor. We come on into the master. Good size and again, great view. If you look out through the windows, they've got big glass and view area of the lake. You might want to trim the tree up a little bit, but that tree can also offer you some privacy. Come in here, you've got a double sink set up, toilet, separate shower stand up. You've got a closet back here for towels and things, maybe medicine cabinet type of stuff. Jetted tub, nice size walk-in closet, already set up with uh, your shelving. Let's head down to the basement. All right, nice setup down here. 
walk down the stairs and you've got a room here to your right which again technically not a bedroom uh, but certainly a room like this you could have uh, bunk beds on each side put a flat screen TV up against the wall something like that they have a, a built-in safe down here but uh, certainly could be utilized to house kids come in here you've got a full bathroom again a, a, a shower toilet sink large bedroom in this area again a lot of glass very lit up which you know most people like a very lit up house and that's what we've got here with a great view again back down to the water come on through here we've got uh, bonus room game room you know TV room whatever enough room to put a pool table down here ping pong that type of thing they've got it set up as a nice uh, TV room for you men want to get out there and watch a nice football game and have a little cocktail with the bar set up and we come on in here again you know I look at this as another uh, large bedroom area uh, with again the view to the lake but uh, nice setup and again you could put multiple beds in here bunks again there's all kind of possibilities with the number of folks you can sleep now let's go through because we've got we talk about the storage every house needs storage and this house has ample storage you can see under the stairway as they have their Christmas items decorations and whatnot and then you come in here um, large hot water heater you got a train system heating and air and then ample ample storage space he's got a little workshop set up over here you got your blower and your lawnmower and your weed eaters and whatnot and so that makes it easily accessible to come out which we will do and walk down to the lake oh we come out to a beautiful backyard uh, this house really shows well from the back side of the lake as you look up uh, you've got this beautiful arbor which you could bring some planting in of some sort to grow out over that maybe some sort of flowering plant that would be nice but a uh, nice yard area for the kids to play in and we come out to uh, nice deep water and a great great view now folks I think this is important again talking about where we are if you go directly across and you see that dock there's a dock with a green roof to the right the lot just to the left of that now that is Hidden Harbor which is a Crescent community and the lot just to the left of that dock sold for five hundred and twenty nine thousand dollars and I know that because I sold it and that is a Crescent community and so if you think about it, if that lot just across the way is selling for that kind of money this house certainly at under six hundred thousand is an extremely good value come on down here um, they have just recently extended the dock out to get it out into deeper water and uh, certainly plenty deep you got a great view Matt let's turn one more time around back towards the house because like you said I want to point this out you've got this great swing fire pit area um, you know I, I you could even come down here and build a grill area uh, to have some cookouts and maybe do a patio just a number of uh, opportunities here as far as what you want to do the shoreline the lake is down some today but uh, you know it gives you a little bit of sand I guess to play in but um, as I was talking about before when we were on the inside where exactly are we well if I turn left go out of this cove that'll take me out to the main lake there are actually two islands that will be on my left and uh, if you went pretty much straight across that's going to take you right over to the Tiki Hut and the Kiwi Marina so that gives you a great idea where you're located and uh, I think it's a great location because really there's not going to be a ton of boat traffic in this large cove area uh, other than the folks that just happen to live in here so again if you want uh, to take a preview come over here and, and look at this beautiful home give me a call at 800-682-9098 and schedule your appointment